So D, recently I posted a video about R. Kelly stealing one of my people's songs. So I just came across an article about Ice Spice getting sued for allegedly stealing somebody's song. I listened to both songs. This almost undeniable, but you know. So sometimes they say they didn't know or, or it's a coincidence, but it happens a lot. Even like when Cardi B got caught up with her, if it's up, then it's stuck. If you hear those guys' song that came out before hers, it's undeniable that something happened. And you see, back when it was happening to us, you know, it, it, it could have been a coincidence because they weren't just flat out stealing, they were dissecting. We had a situation. Well, uh, Spice One. Spice One came to our town. We opened for him. He came to promote his album. And we gave him a tape. This is our album. This is what we're working on. And if you remember Spice One, he's credited for naming the 9mm gun the Nina Ross. That was his thing. Nina Ross the boss. With my peoples, he used to rap about his gun too. But the only gun he had at the time was a 380. So all his songs was about, you know, he had pop you with the 380. We give this tape to Spice One. His album don't come out for two months. It's supposed to be due, you know, soon. That's why he was here to promote his, his album. When the album finally come out, he got a song on there. One of his partners like, hey man, remember that, that song you talking about the nine? Spice One, yeah, I don't even mess with the nine no more, partner. It's all about the 380 on that ass, bitch. Man, we knew where that came from. But, you know, like I said, he didn't literally steal. He was stealing cadences and concepts. So even like with us, me and my, my guy, we came out with a song called Swing Them Titties. Had thousands of CDs circulating in St. Louis. In the beginning of my song, I'm asking all my friends, what, what, what type of uh, man are you? You like ass, titties? A pretty face, like what's up, dude? What what's up, my nigga? Hey, hey, man, I was wondering, man, man, what kind of nigga you, dog? What kind of nigga, man? What uh, you, you, you like? An ass man, a titty man, man. Can't back oh, fuck anything. Kind of nigga, you know, pretty you know, Rick can man. fuck anything that move. My, my nigga, nigga Frank Perry, fuck your anything ass anything man man. too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my nigga, money, money. You more like a face, my nigga. No gold, yeah, no ass and They just need a pretty face. Let's get to it. Hey, so I could kind of like me. Fuck that. I need ass. Then here come P. Diddy, Nelly, and Murph Lee with Shake Your Tail Feathers. Mine is swing them titties, there's Shake Your Tail Feathers. And at the very beginning of the video, you can see them asking, what type of woman do you like? You know, so like I said, man, of course, I got hundreds of phone calls. Man, they stole your song. They didn't steal the song. They dissected the concept. I mean, it happens all the time, man. Same thing in Chicago. We pass out CDs in Chicago. On that same album, we got a song on there called Music Is My Soul. My people's on there naming all the R&B singers. Music, 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 music. I don't know what you said to, but I was just told that music's my soul. Music, 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 music. I don't know what you said to, but I was just told that music's my soul. I came up listening to the OJs, confunctions, the earth, wind, and fires, the four Ks, the Commodores, Ohio players, never forgotten, like Paul Amir, Roger Troutman, and Boosie Collins, the boys, Teddy and Stevie, of course I enjoy feeling the music from Al Green and Slap, the spinners, tips and tops, to heat wave from Shaka, Johnny, Guitar, Watson, Isaac Hayes, the slave, Marvin, Mays, Smokey, Shalomar was dynamite, Rolls Royce, the time, O'Brien, and Barry White, 
Lakeside, yes indeed, I was a fan of Sister Sledge and the SOS band. Peaches and Herb, Bloodstone and many others. The Isley Brothers, Blue Magic and Doobie Brothers. The Dale Phonics, Shy Lights, much love, y'all. To Billy Paul, Luther Ingram and Luke I thank Rose. you for your music, smooth, wonderful music. Groove. I've been inspired by some of the best music. I don't know what you've been told, but I was told that music's my soul. I thank you for your music, smooth, beautiful music. Not saying Kanye West got a handle, you know, got a handle on one of them, but immediately after we dropped that, here Kanye comes. She said she wants some hard and gay, some loose. I mean, even in both situations, Shake Shake Tail Feather and uh, uh, that, that, that song, Kanye and Jamie Foxx, they killed it. So, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they made better songs, but those concepts, man, it's pretty fishy. So I'm just saying, man, it happens all the time. People taking concepts. So, I mean, but now, shit, they taking whole songs. <laughs> kind of like the comedians and them jokes. But, uh, yeah, I just want to touch on that because it does happen. So, you got to protect yourself out here, man. Get your paperwork done. And then today, you'll think it's even kind of harder because you can actually, see, back then, there was no way for the little guy to go up against these giants because we just can't prove it. Nowadays, they got proof. They, these songs are on YouTube that they stealing. So it's like, dude, I posted my song a, a year before your song came out. How you gonna deny? But that's how it is, man. But you know, when you a, a P.I. and you're trying to go up against these giants, it's gonna be hard to prove. So just got to be more careful. You did. <laughs>